Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog subject of the night for Saturday, March 19th, 2016, around 7.29 in the evening, Bellwick, Massachusetts. The sun went down tomorrow is going to be in the high 30s. It's the calm before the storm, which is now looks like it's going to hit, but depends where you are. Merrimack Valley area of, of Massachusetts and New Hampshire is anywhere from one to as much as six inches. Depends which television station you listen to. I'm predicting it's going to be two, three inches. Just in Bell after Massachusetts. One little news item before my third and final video blog of the night is that Robert Griffin III, also known as RG3, quarterback who got released by the Washington Redskins, is interested in the Playing quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. Why? They're a losing team, and they're not going to go anywhere anytime soon. RG3 has been a flop so far, and this he's not going to return to prominence in the NFL with the Cleveland Browns. And UMass Lowell River Hawks facing off against Northeastern University in the Hockey East Championship on Nesson, playing right now. And that's about it on news. My third and final video blog subject in the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is legendary sports announcer of the Atlanta Braves, the late great Pete Van Willen. Pete Van Willen worked for um, a play-by-play -play announcer for sports in Atlanta for over 33 years. He's associated with being the Braves announcer for many, many years on TV and the radio. Pete was born and he grew up in Rochester, New York. He was a big sports fan when he was growing up. Then he went to Cornell University. And before he went into broadcasting, he worked for many years at the Washington Post. He never said what he did at the Washington Post. Uh, you gotta assume he's a, he was a sports writer because he told on one of his broadcasts he met the legendary sports writer there, there at the Washington Post. Shirley Povich, Shirley's um, son, is Molly Povich. You are the father! <laughs> anyway, on to Pete Van Willen. Um, Pete joined um, TBS Sports in 1975. He did a variety of sports with um, TBS over the years. He worked as a play-by-play -play announcer for the Atlanta Hawks on television and also on radio. He did preseason Atlanta Falcons games, also Atlanta Flames games when they were in Atlanta. He also worked on Big Ten games, f football and basketball. He did the NBA games on TNT and TBS. And he was a sports reporter for CNN. But what is Pete known for the most is working the play-by-play -play announcer for the Atlanta Blades for 33 years on the television and the radio. He was nicknamed the Professor. He had a great style of his broadcasting and he worked with a variety of partners over the years. He, he worked with Ernie Johnson Sr., Don Sutton, and Skip Carey. Um, Pete actually did some games for the ill-fated baseball network, which was a joint venture between ABC and NBC for about two seasons when that was around 1994-1995. Pete usually did Atlanta Braves games because that was regionalized. He did the division series playoffs for ABC and NBC in 1995 between the Atlanta Braves and the Colorado Rockies. Pete won many 
many awards. He was eight-time winner of the Georgia Sports Cast of the Year, which was very, very amazing. Towards the end of Pete's tenure doing the Braves, he worked strictly on the radio because he was being phased out of television because, like, TBS signed um, 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 Chip Carey and... They strictly put um, Pete Van Willen on the radio. And in 2008, Pete reti retired from broadcasting the Atlanta Braves. And the broadcasting booth in Turner Field is named after Pete Van Willen. In 2009, um, Pete was diagnosed with lymphoma. And he battled the disease for about five years. He wrote an autobiography in 2010. He was fighting the disease on and off, on and off. Until 2014, that's when he passed away at the age of 69. Pete Van Whalen has never been considered for the Ford Frick Award for Broadcasting Excellence for the Baseball Hall of Fame yet. But... He might be one of these days. He should go into the Hall of Fame in the broadcasting ring posthumously because he was one of the best announcers in baseball during the 70s and 80s. Also, Pete's in the uh, Atlanta Braves Hall of Fame. And that's about it on this video blog. And that's about it on these video blogs for the night. And tomorrow, I will be back tomorrow. I will be back again when the day is new and I'll have more ideas for you and you have things to talk about and I will too. That's from Mr. Rogers. And tomorrow's three video blog subjects will be about the, con the finishing off the top 50 greatest NHL players of the original six era from number 10 to number one. Second video blog will be about MBTA bus route 96 that goes from Harvard Square to Method Square. And the third and final video blog of the night for tomorrow night will be about former president of WCW, Eric Bischoff. And he was also the former general manager of Raw back in the early 2000s. Like I always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart is so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swensey Rocks. And in the words of Bobby Ackroyd, um, technology director of the, of the Boys and Girls Club of Greater America. That's a farcical statement. Don't forget Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Questions, comments, concerns, shout outs, plugs, private message me. Three more days into the next Ask Chris video blog bulletin. So send those questions in now. I have a few, but I need more and more and more. Don't forget if you want to Skype me. Add my name, Rich Sarasso, and we could talk about anything and anything. Good night, and sweet dreams. Bye now.